Hey everybody, Jonathan here from Buffalo Modular Homes and behind me is the Easton design. Now this is uh, found on our website, you can see, uh, but this one specifically, we kind of customized it to fit this individual homeowner. You can see the construction process is well underway. We're, we're well past uh, the house set, but I wanted to give you a sense for what's been going on on this project and where things are at. Uh, so you as a homeowner can make some decisions about what you might like to do if this is a plan that you think uh, might be interesting to you. Let's do walk through. Now, as you can see, uh, the homeowner has had the porch built at this point in time. Uh, you can see, maybe you can't, I don't know, but uh, right behind it, there's actually an attached dormer to the house itself as well. It's an interesting decision um, in terms of, you know, from an aesthetic standpoint, uh, you could do a bunch of different things. I mean, you could add simply just some, some decorative dormers to the house that can be done uh, the day that the house comes out and is set. This porch was done later, uh, but what a lot of people end up doing is they use their porch just kind of as the um, the decorative piece and kind of adding some some uh, depth variation and some just different aesthetics to the house. Uh, this homeowner chose to do both. So they did both a dormer from the factory um, that was uh, put in on set day, plus this front porch concrete deck on the front porch. Just a simple landing for them as they kind of come in through the front door. You can see the garage has been built at this point in time. Flat work for the garage is in. The overhead door is not in yet though on this house. <clears throat> but uh, We'll walk through and see where things are at on the inside of the house as well, just so you can get a sense for not only this plan, but just uh, maybe some options that might be available to you in terms of finishing and, and how you might do things. So the, uh, the flooring in this house uh, that you see here was already put in in advance from the factory. So there's some ship loose materials that will uh, come in the house um, a lot of times, but most of the, uh, the house is done already, right? So here's a little coat closet here, right off the front, sliding glass door. Uh, this is all pretty standard with what the Easton plan is. Um, there's a pantry space off to the side here, which is a really nice uh, piece, I like that. Basement stairs, uh, master bedroom entrance, we'll go through the whole thing here, but uh, living room space and kitchen, okay? So this is very similar to what that Easton design is that's on our site. Big difference that this homeowner did, which I think is really great for them, um, you know, they're uh, living here by themselves. They're not really going to be bringing anybody else in. They got a guest room over here, but they didn't really need the three bedrooms like what is standard on that plan. So what they opted to do is increase the living room size. And you can see it's uh, increased it quite a bit. All of these windows in here, which is uh, great letting in all the natural light in this house. So here's the, uh, the guest bedroom. Again, they did this as a two bedroom, two bathroom house. Um, there's a space for uh, either a ceiling fan or just a, uh, a light to go in later on on site. Toilet's shipped loose with the house. That's, uh, you know, it's already ready, uh, but it's not uh, installed in advance. Tub surround and transom window above. Uh, I love the transom window above. It really adds quite a bit. Um, to the obviously to the light in the in the room, but just kind of you know makes it feel not so closet like. This is a space for the vanity light. Obviously, you can see the ceiling fan is in, and here's another closet space as well. Linen closet. Plus up above, you can see there's the access point for the attic space. Now this isn't a walk up attic or anything like that, but there still is you know space that you could potentially be storing some things up there. Now the uh, drywall finisher has been in here working on this house. You can see the marriage line of the house pretty well hidden at this point in time. Um, I think we're pretty much ready for, uh, this is pretty much ready to just be primed again um, and then be done and uh, all set on that front. Um, but you see just these little touch points that they did here and stuff, but generally speaking, it's really just the, the marriage line of the house. Right, so just really this center line of the house here um, where the drywall patching was really needed. There's a, there'll be a few cracks upon delivery and stuff, but generally speaking, it's pretty much done. Big master closet here. Not a walk-in, but still really large closet. And they opted to do a sliding door for, a uh, sliding barn door for the bathroom space. And vanity already installed, uh, vanity hardware needs to be installed, countertop, 
and sinks and faucets need to be installed, but the tile in the shower was already installed in advance uh, as well, which is really nice. So this gives you a sense for how this individual homeowner chose to finish this uh, house out. Obviously it's still in the midst of the construction process, but this gives you a sense for you know, maybe just some different ways to uh, alter a plan that might be a good starting point, but just needs to be changed around a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you as you work through your construction process on your project, uh, whether that's you taking the lead on it, you hiring things out, you taking advantage of some relationships that you have, uh, or maybe we're doing the whole thing for you, whatever the case is. Um, we wanna help you through the whole process. We certainly don't want to just kind of do whatever portion you're asking us to do and leave you high and dry. We wanna walk you through the entire build uh, and make sure you're set up for success. So we'll make sure to do that. Please reach out to us. Uh, if you're interested in this plan or maybe there's some things that you see that you might wanna do a little differently, feel free to leave a comment and we can kind of interact that way. If there's a, a house project that you're working on that you're considering, just reach out to us uh, and we'd love to get in contact with you about your build and helping you see it through to finish. Thanks for watching.